Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Morsels. Today I just want to share a funny incident that happened to me right now. And through that, I would just like to go into today's message. Uh, while I was coming, I'm right now standing in a garden. So while I was coming, uh, there were about six or seven stray dogs lying around. When they saw me approaching, they just lifted their head, looked at me from the corner of their eye and they went back to sleep. Seeing this, I got a little scared because there were about six or seven of them. So I walked back and I got a stick and I came back and this time these very dogs, they lifted their heads, they looked at me and they got up one by one and they just walked away. And it looked like they walked out of respect and I just laughed to myself, wow, look at the respect that they are giving me. But the truth is they did not give way to me out of respect, but because they saw the stick in my hand, they just got scared. Now, most of us are like this. We abstain from many things, not because of the fear of God or out of respect for God, but just because we are scared that He will punish us. You see, as we grew up, we kept hearing that if you lie, you will be thrown into hell. So the only reason why we don't lie or we don't steal or we don't do certain things is because we are scared that God will punish us and not because the fear of God is in us or you know the deep respect or the deep reverence for God the feeling that if I do it I will hurt my father or the fact that if I do this I'm causing grief to my father you know that is called the fear of God and so today I would just like to focus on the fear of God what is fear of God and what is the benefit of having the fear of God Moses gives an advice to the Israelites when they were on their journey to the promised land he says to keep yourselves from falling into sin, have the fear of God in your heart. See, Moses is telling this to a group of people who got out of Egypt with one purpose in their mind. I need to go to that land that flows with milk and honey. And they are a large group of people. The Bible says that when they got out of Egypt, there were 600,000 men on foot besides women and children. So they were a huge group. And Moses is telling them, hey, listen, it's true that you had a purpose when you got out of Egypt. It's true that when you crossed the Red Sea, your purpose was to reach there. But if you want to reach your destination, fear the Lord so that you will not commit sin and move away from God. Hallelujah. What does Paul say about the Israelites? He says when they pass through the Red Sea and they pass under the cloud, they, they were baptized into Moses. Right now when Moses is giving them this piece of advice, their situation is just like ours. We left Egypt. We repented, we were born again, we were baptized, we passed through the Red Sea and right now we are in the wilderness. We just need to go a little more further and we reach the promised land. But the advice that Moses gave to the Israelites stands true for us too. Fear the Lord lest you fall into sin and move away from God. Why is it so necessary to fear the Lord and why is it so necessary to keep ourselves from falling into sin? There is a huge chance to fall into this misunderstanding standing that if you are covered by his grace it is okay to fall into sin but listen to what David says David calls such a person a fool because uh, he says a fool says in his heart there is no God it talks about a person who says in his heart I believe he is not talking about an atheist because an atheist is very vocal about his faith he says I don't believe there is a God he says that publicly but I believe David is talking about those kind of people who in their secret lives, in their personal life, live as if there is no God. Amen. And that is called foolishness. But the word of God teaches us to be wise and not be foolish. Wise and fear the Lord and go ahead. The author of Hebrews tells us that a person who has experienced the love of God and keeps committing sin again and again on purpose is crucifying the Son of God again and again. So it is very much necessary for us to fear the Lord and keep ourselves from falling into sin. We know the story of the Israelites. Out of that huge group of people only two people entered the promised land and the reason for the rest of the people for not entering the promised land that God gives is that they did not follow me wholeheartedly so friends in our journey towards our promised land let us fear the Lord and hold on to him and follow him wholeheartedly lest we fall into sin and be separated away from him I hope and pray that the Lord helps each one of us to maintain the fear of the Lord and hold fast 
confess to him lest we fall into sin and go away from him god bless you